Hey guys, so shout out to Rattle Pokemon for bringing this to the public attention. It's definitely an interesting one here. So essentially, here's the story. They're at Collector Con Atlanta, and Thomas Wang finds a bag of cash. There's $21,000 of cash in the bag. The bag is from a young vendor named Reed. He had misplaced his cash. Thomas secured, and again, in his apology video, he says, I secured the bag, held it for a day. Then the camera is revealed, so he still went there the next day, collected call the next day, no shame, right? And they revealed that it was Thomas Wang, success Wang, who basically stole the money. And unfortunately, I, I think he should be in jail right now, unfortunately for... Um, Reed, he, he, I don't know why Reed didn't press charges. He should have, because that's the only way to really punish Thomas Wang. Now, Thomas Wang is, com is complaining that, his, that he's being targeted, his family's being targeted, his co-workers are being targeted, when in fact Thomas could literally be in jail. So instead of being able to make a video, right, he would be sitting in jail right now awaiting trial. Uh, this is absolutely a case where he knew what he was doing. Uh, even he says, oh, well, I didn't really know. And, you know, I, I wasn't in the right state of mind. And, and that's all just BS, right? You, you can tell it's BS because I can tell it's BS, right? I mean, it, it's pretty obvious that Thomas is not, um, that's not a good excuse, right? That you're not in the right state of mind. That's not an excuse at all. So if you are a alcoholic and you get in your car and you're not in the right state of mind and you run somebody over, you go to jail. So I, I don't believe in that because it's reckless disregard. Obviously, you know that this type of money is a lot of money for a Pokemon convention. And you stole it. You stole the money. You took the money from the table instead of putting it on the table or putting it beneath the table and then seeing if anyone was missing money, you stole the money for an entire day. That's the definition of theft, right? Theft can be one second, or but in this case, it's a little bit more obvious. Uh, it is one day. So I'm making a video, Thomas Wang, go to jail, Wang. And again, um, this is, I don't know what type of business, uh, I think people say he's in a restaurant business or something like that, but this is really bad, guys. Like, he knew exactly what he was doing because otherwise he wouldn't have it for one day. One day is a long time, right? He stole $21,700 in cash and then he made a response video. My, my God. Oh, here's Thomas Success Wang. He has blocked his Facebook. He's uh, private to his Facebook. Uh, here is uh, his, oh, his LinkedIn. So I'm actually on his LinkedIn. Okay, he's, he's deleted his LinkedIn. Thomas Success Wang is no longer on social media. And then he made this video. He, so he basically deleted, you look really guilty when you don't take the punishment. You stole $21,700. It is absolutely stolen. It was stolen for, uh, you know, that that person who lost that type of money is desperately looking for it for that day. And let me ask you this question, Thomas, if no video camera footage comes out, do you return the money? And the answer is no, because you had a whole day to return the money and until video camera footage put you on it and you possibly could go to jail. I think, um, again, Atlanta has, you know, different states have different laws, but I think that he should be reported. I think his business should be destroyed because he knew what he was doing. And even in his apology video, he knows what he's doing, right? Uh, when he's deleting his social media, he knows what he's doing, guys. Like, you find that amount of money and you tell me that you don't know that somebody's desperately trying to find and you hold on for a day to see what happens. You're just hoping that um, no one can pin it back to you. And then they, luckily, there was cameras and they pinned it back to you. And stupidly enough, you came the second day. You know, I mean, come on, you, you won, quote, the lottery here, Thomas. Like you, I mean, you're just a very um, bizarre experience. You had a whole day to think over the consequences of your actions. And you came to the conclusion that it was just better to keep the money because F the other people, right? 
So we're gonna post this video about Thomas. Uh, we're gonna have his uh, little picture. Let's see, uh, let me see if I can pull up a picture on Google. So he's on LinkedIn, but I can't pull him up even though I have 50,000 followers there. So he's he's doing good stuff right now. Thomas Success Wang. Oh yeah, here's his X. So he, he has X, uh, he has an X picture. He has a picture of, he, he has a shit ton of post pictures, man. This dude is like, he's like, what, an entrepreneur or something? Like, a fake one? He has a shit ton of pictures of people. World System Builder, is that him? Central Morning Facebook fan. Friend, friendly reminder to teach your com kids the importance of financial literacy. Oh my god. <laughs> no. No, Thomas. Please don't tell me that you, you have financial literacy class. Thomas, no. No, Thomas, please. Please stop, Thomas. This is this is redonkless. If this guy is giving financial literacy, he is. is. I see pictures of him. He's giving financial literacy. Are you effing kidding me right now, Thomas? You steal people's money and you're giving financial literacy advice? Holy smoly, my, my dude. Uh, let's see if his uh, X is blocked or deleted. I don't know. X used to be Twitter. Also, yeah, account does not exist. So he's been... This guy's got... I mean, this dude should be in jail right now. Um, he should be in jail right now for what he did. You had a whole... If you had... I'm not... Okay. One scenario that I would be comfortable with, maybe not everyone would be comfortable with, I would be comfortable if he thought about it, took it, and then gave it back. Or just told the collector con, hey, I found this bag of money. Um, can you make an announcement on the speaker? And then we can verify together that this is the right amount of money. Or do you have camera system that we can verify whose money it is? Even if it took him an hour to get to that decision, as long as the decision was made on day one, once once you take the money home, um, once you take the money home with you, you sit it on it for a day. Um, you don't deserve a business, man. You don't deserve to come to collect a con. You don't deserve any of this stuff because I'm gonna make sure, for a fact, you know, this this is the stuff I love, guys, hunting. Hunting these predators, right? These scam artists. So I am very, very, I mean, I want to add him on Facebook. This dude's got so much on Facebook. He's got a ton of pictures on Facebook. Like, seriously, he does financial literacy. The mother effer stole money, and he's uh, talking about financial literacy. Are you kidding me right now, Thomas? Oh, he's got LinkedIn. He's got, F yeah, this is him. This is him on LinkedIn. Okay. Yeah, crazy stuff. Add me on LinkedIn, Thomas.